So I got this thing off of Amazon, which is essentially a voltage and amperage meter for DC batteries. The way the volts work, I suppose, is by using one of these wires. You can power this thing with a 0 to 100 volt DC source, so I have a 84 volt battery when it's fully charged, meaning it should run just fine off that. You can put the red and the yellow wire together if the power source that you're measuring is the same as the power source that's powering this device, and that'll just plug straight into whatever battery you have. This sensor here, unfortunately, does not come with a clamp, which means that you have to wrap it around the wire that you're using before putting on the terminal. But the way it works is that it uses a Hall effect sensor to measure the magnetic field that the wire is creating. And it can take a somewhat accurate measurement of the amps. It's not super accurate, but when you're dealing with say 50 to 100 amps, this has enough accuracy. It's got this nice tiny little display that shows you the volts and amps at the same time. It also comes with this extension cord because for most use cases you want to display a bit further away from where you're probing. The only problem is that mounting this to a bicycle, I mean you could use like a couple zip ties but that would just look kind of ugly. So I'm just going to 3D print a bracket for this that'll mount to my bicycle so that while I'm riding my e-bike I'll be able to look at the current and the volts that the battery is outputting. I have my digital calipers here, I just need to take a measurement of the handlebar to know what I have to work with. As you can see my handlebar is, oh we're in inches, 22.4 millimeters in diameter. I'll, I'll probably make the mount as short as I can so let's say 10 millimeters looks pretty good. I basically want something that clamps the handlebar and then provides the display down here. The thing that I'm modeling here isn't crazy complicated. I'm basically just creating this pipe looking thingy that's going to have like a slot in it to allow it to clamp onto the bar. I need to put a hole through it and in a later design I do actually create like a slot for a hex nut to be pressed in. Makes assembling the whole thing a lot easier and I'm going to use a rubber piece that will slide onto the handlebar and allow this to have more friction with the handlebar. Besides that, I'm just designing the bottom piece to be about the same size as what the volt and amp meter is so that it just slides in and pops into place and I'm just 3D printing the bottom half to test fit my part with. Here I'm just test fitting that little piece of the bracket to make sure that this screen slides in and pops in and stays. As it turns out I made it just a little bit too small and it curves a bit at the top. So in the next design I'm just going to make it a bit taller. This is the revised model, I made it a little bit taller. So now as I put it on you'll be able to see that it snaps into place and it creates a tight hold on the screen without bending. So here I actually was able to pop the screen in, but then I realized that even when I put a screw through on the other side, I can't put a nut because the hole is too close to the bracket. So I have to print another one. So I'm just going to go ahead and remove that screw. Oh fuck. And now I actually have enough clearance so that I can put a nut on there. So I just got to screw this in so I can get it a little tight. I also printed a back cover and I cut some of this rubber strip to the right size. Now I just try sliding it onto the handlebar and then screwing it down as tightly as I can. I find out that actually I'm not able to screw this down as tightly as I'd like so I end up printing another version that has a smaller inner radius. So I'm just going to try and go over this part really quickly because I feel like it's kind of boring to watch. What I'm doing here is creating an Anderson jumper cable for my e-bike to go in between the battery and the speed controller. This is so that the installation is really easy and doesn't involve affecting any of the existing wire. It's just a jumper that goes in between. I learned this new strategy, I don't know where I saw it, but basically when you're trying to solder a much larger wire and a much smaller wire together and then put it into a crimping terminal, you can wrap a tiny piece of copper wire, I have like 0.1 millimeter copper wire here, and use that to just hold the wires together before you crimp it on. And I'm also just soldering for like a little bit of extra security.
Besides that, I'm running red and black small gauge wires out of the terminals. This is so that I can run the voltmeter in parallel with the speed controller and power it at the same time. But basically, the voltmeter has three wires. It has a yellow wire, it has a red wire, and it has a black wire. The red and black wire are used for powering the voltmeter, and the yellow wire is used for the battery terminal, the positive battery that you're trying to measure and display. If the battery that you're trying to measure and display is the same as the battery that's going to power the volt and amp meter, then you can just tie those two wires together. Make sure to add heat shrink tubing to cover any exposed wire. Make sure you put the heat shrink tubing on before soldering. Now you can see that I'm finishing up my connections to the display. So that red wire that's going to come from the battery is going to be connected to the red and yellow wire on the amp meter. And that black wire will be connected to the black wire on the amp meter. Here I'm mounting it on my bike for the first time and I'm testing out the jumper connection to see if everything works. This ends up not being the final model of bracket. I end up 3D printing another bracket that has a smaller inner radius. There's the display and you can see it's on and as I rev the bike and it tries to jump out, the amps in the display go up. And this thing seems to be pretty good at showing the max amps. Now you get to see the screen on my bike in action while I'm on a ride. I'm pretty happy with the refresh rate. I wish it would update a little bit more quickly, but it was only 20 bucks. What could you expect? As you could see, I wrapped some wire loom around it that goes all the way down to where the battery is, and it is a pretty clean install in the end. I modified the back panel a bit so that it would tightly grip that wire loom, and uh, there's basically no exposed wiring here. Anyway, if you're interested in getting or making one of these yourself, I'll post all the links in the description to the 3D printable file and the volt and amp meter itself on Amazon. If you like how it turned out and you want me to create one just like this, reach out to me and we can discuss it a bit more. I'll be able to 3D print it and wire it and everything for you depending on what connectors you have on your e-bike. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you learned something watching this video and I hope to see you next time. Subscribe for more videos like this one.